few of us from Icicle Divers are off to the uh, 40 metre shelf at Dorothea. I've got myself a new video light. It's a Keldan Luna 4. It's the cheapest they make, but it's still an arm and a leg because it's a dedicated video light, not a torch. But it does give a beautiful, even illumination. Just dropping down onto the 40 metre shelf now. This is the hut. And you can see it's all illuminated there and there are no hot spots. Much better than my HID torches that I've been using so far. And you can see here that the uh, colour's better as well. Not so blue. Just waiting for the others to catch up with me. This is the ladder that leads down to, I think, about 57 metres. Myself and Mike Breathen are going to drop down to the uh, NARC test at 50 metres. Which is the deepest I've ever been in Dorothea. As we drop down I tried to notice any signs of uh, narcosis. The most obvious one was a funny metallic taste in my mouth, as if you had a bit of blood there. I felt reasonably relaxed as we dropped down to 50 meter, but I suspect that was part of the narcosis. The narcosis test is just coming into view at the bottom of the ladder. But above it there's a memorial to John Hall of Salford Subacra Club. I'm afraid that I'm not going to show you the contents of the narcosis test because it's easy at naught meters. It's much harder at 50 meters. Well, having seen the narcosis test, I'm heading back to the 40 meter shelf. Mike, my dive buddy, carried on down to 60 meters to look for the entrance to the 57 meter tunnel. He didn't find it, but I wasn't going to follow him. The illumination that I get from this Keldan light is really good. And I haven't actually got it set on full power. We're probably at about 35 meters now and I've switched the lights off, just using available light. <laughs> 